hello, welcome to my kitchen. You will have to ignore my voice. I probably will cough throughout this. I am either dealing with allergies or cold. I'm not exactly sure. Could be either at this point in the year. But I did my Aldi haul and I will show you everything that I got this week. Um, nothing too exciting. Basics plus I got some things for um, feeding kids at church. And I will go over that with you as well. So let's get this set up and I will go through what I got, show you how much it was, and tell you what I'm going to use it for if it's anything special. Down here with some more waffle cones. My kids have almost gone through the last package that I got. These are a seasonal item. Um, the waffle cones are $2.39. And then I grabbed one of their organic pasta sauces. This is $1.99. I got this because I ended up opening up the one that we had. And so I wanted to replace it for... Um, when my husband is home, this is something easy he can use for making himself dinner. So I got that for $1.99. And then next is a can of baked beans. This is $1.85. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. Um, it's just the way the video is going to be today. Um, $1.85 for the baked beans. Those are going to be with our hamburgers tonight that I'm going to throw on the grill. Then I got two packages of English muffins. These have been going pretty quickly in my house right now. So I went ahead and grabbed two packages of those. And that was $2.90 for two, $1.45 a piece. Then they have these artisan hamburger buns. They each have eight in there. And I got two of them. They are four hamburgers tonight. $2.79 a piece. So $5.98 for the two of them. Then I grabbed these key lime cookies. I'm excited to give them a try. Those were $2.69. I got the lemon ones before, and they are really good. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I got a loaf of the honey wheat bread for $1.75. This is just for sandwiches. And then they have their pretzel buns back. Their pretzel buns are so good. Um, they come four to a pack, and I do plan on freezing those for future meals. But I went ahead and grabbed four of them at $2.99 a piece, making them $11.96 for all four of them. Uh, because, you know, it's a special buy. Once it's there, it's there, and when it's gone, it's gone. Then I got a chocolate milk for $1.65. I get that every single time because my son drinks chocolate milk every single day. And then we got the organic milk, and that is $3.79, I believe. Let me double check. Uh, yes, $3.79. Then on to the lunch meat. And I got a lot of lunch meat because they were on sale, and... Next week, we are feeding um, about 25 people at church. My kids are on a discipleship team, and we rotate um, bringing food. The families rotate bringing food, and I'm going to do subs. And so since I saw the lunch meat on sale, I went ahead and stocked up. We also are having a potluck at our homeschool co-op the day after that. And so I'm going to bring subs to that as well because I figured why not make it easy on myself and just do the same thing times two. So the first thing I got is I got three of the one pounds of the honey ham. These are uncured, so there's no nitrates or anything in it. This is one pound package, um, and I got three of them. And the ham was four seventy five dollars a piece, so fourteen twenty five dollars for the three of them. Then they had the chicken, and again, one pound packages. And I got two of those, and they were four ninety nine dollars a piece, so $9.98. More than likely, my family will use one of these, and then I'll put two in the fridge, and I will probably pick up more, but I just got <clears throat> those for this week to help spread out the cost. Then I got, um, let's see, what's next? I'm not sure what this is. Hmm. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to skip over it, because, oh, mm, this, I think. Yes, I think it's this Parmesan cheese. Um, was two twenty nine, <clears throat> so I went ahead and just nope, that's not it. Uh, ignore that. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. It says premium M and C. So, not sure what it is. Um, uh, maybe is it my chocolates? Uh, I don't know. Oh well, we're gonna skip over it. Okay, next thing is seven packages of the Colby Jack cheese. These are, again, for those subs as well, and that was $1.59 a piece. They were on sale for $11.13, well, $11.13 altogether for seven. Then this is the cheese that I always buy. Oh, mac and cheese, that's what it is. Okay, I'll go back to it. Um, <clears throat> the mac and cheese, uh, oh my goodness, the Colby Jack cheese. I apologize, you guys. My videos are not normally this bad, but I am 
just not doing a hundred percent here. So, okay, three packages of Colby Jack organic cheese for two thirty-five a piece, so seven oh five for the three of them. This is for our house. This is for those subs for the church. And then premium mac and cheese. That's what it was. Two twenty-nine for that mac and cheese. This is also something my husband will eat on a night when he's home alone and I'm working and my kids are eating at church. All right. Then the next thing is a thing of the bite-sized yellow potatoes. Typically, potatoes are something that I really do prefer to get organically, but they didn't have any, and so I just had to go with these for $3.29. I'm going to do potato salad with dinner tonight. A bag of red onions for $2.59. A bag of sweet onions. Those are $2.49. I got a thing of the grape tomatoes, and those were $2.79. Then we're going to go back over here to the kombuchas. And the kombucha were two nineteen. I got a strawberry lemonade and a ginger lemon. Those are both for my husband. <coughs> Excuse me, two nineteen. Then my kids really like this summer prebiotic drink. They like the pineapple mango. There's a strawberry mint, but they like the pineapple mango. So I did get four more cans of that. Those um, cans are a dollar ninety nine a piece. Now we're going back over here. Sorry, try not to make you get sick here. The Parmesan cheese was $2.19. That was on sale as well. I got a thing of organic celery hearts, and that was $2.39. A bag of organic baby carrots, and those baby carrots uh, were $1.49. We got a bag of limes for $2.29, and a bag of lemons for $3.39. And then I got a ball, like a kickball, and I do not have that here. I actually put it in the garage uh, for $4.49. Then I got a thing of parsley, just a little package of parsley here. And that is a two ounce package for 95 cents. The mini cucumbers were on sale. So I grabbed one of those for $1.89. They had the sliced mushrooms on sale for $1.69. Grabbed that. These strawberries are $1.89, so I went ahead and I got three packages of them. That will probably be the bulk of our fruit this week will be strawberries. We do have some pineapple left over from last week um, because I had several pineapple. So um, so $1.89, so $5.67 for three things of strawberries. I got the raspberries. They were $2.49 a piece. I got two of them, <clears throat> so it was $4.98. And then the eggs, the free-range eggs, are $3.39. And then the last thing down on the end here, last time we're doing this, um, this chocolate bar, I absolutely adore this chocolate bar. It is $2.49. So in total, I spent $143.63. And that is everything that I got for our groceries this week. I do work a couple nights this week, and we have a lot going on this week. It's kind of a crazy week for us, and so I didn't need a ton. This is just kind of our fill-in. Keeping in mind that the bulk of our meat comes from ButcherBox, and I also bulk buy from Azure Standard. And so <clears throat> this is kind of our fill-in stuff, plus also trying to space out the cost of bringing food to church next week. I'll also probably pick up some chips from Aldi when I do that, and then like toppings for the subs as well, mayo, and maybe some lettuce, things like that, that the kids would maybe want on their subs with a few other kinds of lunch meat. So that's everything that I got this time. So much for joining me, sickness or allergies and all. Um, remember that Jesus loves you and I'm glad that you're here and I will see you on the next one.